Hey everyone, the Beard Baron here today with the summer beard. It's summertime and this is a question I get actually year round and it's something I've received the question for many years now and I think it's a kind of time to address the whole idea of growing your beard out during the summer. Now even from people who are bearded, not bearded, the number one question I usually get is do I grow my beard out in the summer? Do I keep it this length during the summer? And the answer is yes and yes. And for good reason, not just for style points or self-expression, but having a beard, a longer beard during the summer actually is practical. Now I'm talking summer up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it's the other way around if you're below the Southern Hemisphere. It's been a long time since I've been in uh, any kind of geographical class. Growing your beard out during the summer actually has a very practical application. And that is actually to cool you down and protect your skin and your body as a whole. You see, in the neck here, there's a lot of veins, arteries that pass blood up into your brain, back down. There's a lot of uh, activity up here as far as blood flow goes. If you ever hit your head on something and you, you cut it open, you, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, more on that later. There's so much blood that's coming up and down through your neck, and it's a very vital area of your body. But with a beard in front of you, you're actually pretending it from any kind of sun. It, when you start to sweat, the moisture gets trapped in there and it starts to cool your neck down. If you've ever seen, well you must have seen, any pictures of Middle Eastern countries of their culture, of what they do of like head wrappings, long beards, they're protecting their skin and their head from the heat and from the sun. So actually growing a beard out will actually cool you down during the summer months. It might seem kind of productive, that's why I think I get that question a lot, is people always assume that I cut my beard off during the summer when I actually have never done so. Actually, it's fantastic if you're, whether you're just coming out of the shower, you're going swimming in a, a pond, lake, the ocean, come on a hot summer's day, you dip your whole entire body, you go for a nice solid dunk, which I like to do from occasion. You come up out of the water, you get all that, that fresh or salt water in your beard, uh, and it, it cools you off, it stays damp for a while, and it feels fantastic. If you know the feeling of a hot summer breeze going through a cold, damp beard, definitely share your thoughts below because it is fantastic. I highly recommend to guys, you don't need to cut off your beard when the temperature starts going up. Uh, you can keep it, rock it, enjoy the benefits of the actual benefits your beard has for you and your body. Now I should say uh, that if you are going swimming in the ocean with salt water, you do want to rinse your beard off shortly thereafter. So once you're done swimming, you know, for the day or for the time being, just rinse your beard off with some fresh water. Uh, you don't want to wait hours and hours. Uh, if you've ever done so, you know the feeling of salt water on your beard. It's really nasty and it actually takes quite a bit to get that out of your beard. If it's allowed to stay on there, dry on there, and sit on there, it's not good, it's not healthy for your beard. But anyways guys, like I said, feel free to grow your beard during the summer. People will have the curiosity of like, why wouldn't you shave that off? But let them know that it is for the benefit of you, yourself, keeping cool. Uh, this actually protects my skin. Uh, I've always been very curious about um, how white or not tan my skin is underneath my beard as the, you know, my jaw, my chin, uh, my mustache area. Uh, hasn't seen the sun in probably eight years or so. Uh, so it's interesting to think of how much my beard and mustache are protecting me and having a fuller mustache actually coming over my lips protects my lips as well. Uh, it doesn't get dry, it doesn't get cracked. And I find that having a long mustache throughout the entire year, even through the winter, uh, I don't have to ever use chapstick or anything like that. There's a great amount of moisture that gets trapped right in there and protects my lips from any sort of cracking, uh, chapping, or anything like that. And like I said, this is gonna depend upon largely of, you know, do you live in a very hot climate? Is it dry? Is it humid? I live up here in the Northeast, so it is a temperate climate. We do get quite a bit of humidity, uh, which actually plays well to the long beard. That humidity gets trapped in the beard. And like I said, it almost acts like a, an air conditioner for your neck, it cools you down, keeps you a few degrees cooler. It's a real slick way of going about it. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely encourage you. Uh, there's no need to chop off your beard. Keep it, let it grow. And if you have any experience with what you like for the summer beard, leave it down below. Next video, I'll talk about some practical things to do. Uh, like I said, during the course of the year, you do have to change things up from time to time, whether it's how often you're uh, washing, uh, kinds of products you're using, and how often and how much you're applying. So I'll go over that in the next video. Leave some comments down below. TheBeardBaron.com, all your premium beard care and mustache care needs. I love you guys, I'll talk to you soon, but until then, take care.